Welcome to KentuckyFoodStamps.net. Today we're going to show you how to submit a food stamp application for the state of Kentucky. First things first, you're going to have to go to www.KentuckyFoodStamps.net and then you're going to come on this page here. This page has a lot of good information about uh, applying, you know, the requirements and how and all that good stuff. Uh, you're also going to have a, an, um, excuse me, a registration form here. If you go ahead and put your name and your email address and submit yes, you would instantly get an email like this one here. This one is going to, what it's going to do is going to provide you with two links. One for the actual food stamp application and one link is to help you find your local office uh, to uh, submit your application. So if you go ahead and click on food stamp application. The application will come up okay now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and print this uh, form out Oops, let's close this up here well you can actually fill it in first you know if you whatever you prefer if you prefer to fill it out by hand or on the screen it's up to you but you're going to have to print it out uh, when you're finished um, so it's pretty much self-explanatory first part is pretty much if you need any special assistance filling out your form uh, they will provide it for you. You just have to let them know. So you would do that in this first part here. And we're gonna scroll down. Just pretty much, you know, your rights and everything. You can go ahead and read over that. Okay, we're applying for food stamps, so we check off the food stamp benefits box. And then you put your name. And your address, your telephone number, your mailing address. And when you print it out, you'd sign here on the line here. Okay, here you gotta you gotta list yourself and uh, all the people who live in your household, along with a social security number, the relation, date of birth, and if uh, their sex. Okay. And you just you know, like I said, follow the questions. Is your is the household living in a center for abused spouses? You know, you fill this in. Has anyone been convicted of a drug felony since 8-22-1996? Like I said, you just fill that stuff out. If you need a representative for yourself for any uh, reason, like say you can't make it to the appointments, if you're called for an appointment, you have to work or whatnot, and you want to delegate that to somebody, you need to put their name, their address, and all that good stuff. Then the application starts. You got to uh, list any assets you have, including bank accounts. Just follow along there and you print out and sign off then you would just go back to the email I sent you click on local office and let's just pick here just guess one here okay here are the family support food stamps medical and welfare etc they give you the address as well as the telephone and fax I suggest you fax your application in uh, I would fax it twice, one minute, about one minute apart. Make sure you keep your receipt that your fax was received at the other end and keep a copy of that, attach that to your printed application and keep that somewhere safe. Just in case something happens, you have proof that you did send your application because your, um, your food stamp benefits start the day that your application was received. So of course, if you mail, it's going to take a few extra days. So like I said, uh, make sure you register. It's free and we're not going to send you spam. We're just going to send you good information that's going to help you get through these times. If for any reason you want the emails to stop, just go to the email I sent you and you would click the unsubscribe button. Okay, thank you and have a nice day.